and welcome back to the channel it's gonna be not a bit of a different video but it's not really gonna be pokemon go related I thought i would do a haul of everything me and joe got in japan so um i'll get right into it so me and joe basically went to tokyo at the start of the year in march and then when we were traveling around asia we went to osaka and kyoto in july there are two pokemon stores in osaka so we ended up going to four different pokemon stores we had to get another suitcase to come home with we bought a lot of stuff let me tell you <laughs> um we've made like a little shrine thing <laughs> Okay, um, if you're in the UK right now, you know how hot it is. I'm like scorching. Even being on the floor in such a hot space is making me feel really like, oh, so yeah. So this is currently our little shrine. I just put um, most of the things on the top shelf and the, and the middle shelf, the bottom shelf I've used for like clothes and stuff. I will go shelf by shelf. Um, Joe does have a shoe box. This shelf. Okay, so. First things first, we will do like little plushies that were on that part of the shelf. Look how cute it is. Ah! I'm so bad with names, so I've forgotten what it evolves into. But this is the Shellos Evolved. And I just saw it and it was so pink and so cute. Just had to have it. So this one was from Osaka, is also from Osaka, so I got a Phantom. It did have a cool label on it, but I had to take it off because when we went to Go Fest London, um, I took off the tag and I put this on my bag so that people knew that I was playing, you know, like a little ooh, Easter egg kind of thing, I don't know. But yeah, no, Phantom is probably one of my favourite Pokemon. I don't know why, I just... I just love it. I just think it's so cute. She's got like pink eyes. It's like a little ghost. It's literally one of my favourite thing ever. So this is actually Joe's. Joe loves Ryolu and Lucario. He also got a shiny Lucario in the wild at London Go Fest and I didn't. So I'm glad it went to the right person even though I don't have one and I kind of wanted one. I got this in Osaka and yeah, um, it's very soft, very fluffy, very cute. Um, let me just say as well that when we were in Osaka, we went to, we went about three times to the Pokemon store and each time I think we spent just over £100. So that is a lot of money. <laughs> um, I can't remember how much we spent in Tokyo in the spring and how much we spent in Osaka, but yeah, like you don't want to know, like <laughs> it, it was a lot. This little plushie is Chikorita, it's also one of my favourites. <laughs> she's just so cute and like tiny and she's got a little... Ooh. She got this in Tokyo in the start of the year, this is my little plushie that I got because um, I wasn't sure whether to get many plushies. I was also flying there for work when I was um, a flight attendant. So um, I did take Joe with me on that trip to Tokyo, obviously. But I wasn't sure how much space I had in my bag. Like, we were like I wasn't going to buy a bag out there if I needed more space. So in the end, like I just was a bit careful about what I was buying. So this was, yeah, this was going to fit in my suitcase, but I just thought it was so cute. Um, another thing that was on that shelf was this, um, if you saw it. They do sell these in the UK and like manga and Tokyo shops in our city centre, which I thought was really cool. I thought it was even cooler that we got this in Japan. So this is, Joe actually got this and it's a Rayquaza little Lego set, but it's actually um, made by Nanoblock and not Lego. So that's really cool. He can make that whenever he likes and I just stuck that up there for to show but yeah i just thought that was so cool i didn't really think to get um a little lego set but i probably should have we're moving on to this part two of my favorite pokemon if you've watched my last vlogs as well you know that these are my favorites because i was non-stop trying to get these shiny during global go fast it was actually a crime and i didn't actually get this shiny Ordino. Joe traded it to me because he was nice enough and he got two. Um, so yeah, I got shiny, I got, it's not shiny. I got Ordino. Need I say less, it's just so pink, so cute. The first time I went to the Pokemon store, I put a bunch of stuff in my basket. This, um, the Phantom, the Shellos kind of one. 
This was in the queue guys. I also got a miso soup bowl which I left at home and I also got a phone case. Um, yeah, which was on my phone. But Joe ended up putting some of it back because he thought like that I didn't need it. So we get back to the hotel room and I'm like, I can't believe you've done this. Where's like all this stuff that I put in my basket? He goes, oh, I put it back. I don't think, I don't think you need it or that. I was like, so we went back the next day and I got it. Next up, as I was talking about, didn't get a shiny or Dino, but I did get one of these. And if you saw my last vlog again, you'll know that I got one of these in the last minute of GoFest, Global GoFest. 59 past the hour, I got a shiny cotton tea. He's got his little bum tail thing. <laughs> it's just so cute as well. So fluffy. I love it. Okay, so I also put these in the shrine because um, we got them at Global Go Fest and I thought they were really cool. So till we figure out what to put them on, um, we're just going to keep the Global Go Fest badges because we bought something from the gift shop, which I'll get on to later. You get these free badges. So yeah, I've just put them in the shrine for now, but we'll, maybe I'll put them on my bag or something. Pretty cool. The next thing I'm going to go on to guys is if you've seen any videos from Japan, you will know that these machine twisty things are bloody everywhere. So, ah! Okay, as I was saying, I had to sit on the bed because I was crouched down before. These things, we did so many, more than I have in my hands right now, uh, to try and get some cute stuff. And I think these are just the Pokemon ones, so I'm just going to show you guys what we got. I'll put a video here of like what it was like and stuff, like the twisty things. Um, it was like a randomised, you know, one of them kiddie games things. But next to these machines, there was such cool arcade games in the Pokemon Center in Osaka. Like adults and everyone was just like, ah, 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 like playing away in it. Like everyone was just having at this tapping game. <laughs> Sick, like I wish I'd had a go. Open these, this one. So that's what it looks like inside. Ah, how cute. And it's just like, got its own little cushion is from Osaka. I'm not even gonna look at the ones that I could have got because I just get sad. Like 300 to 500 yen. So I don't know how much that is. Around about that much. This little pea shoe is so cute. I haven't even like unboxed it. Ah. How cute. How cute is that? Okay, I believe Joe got this in Tokyo. Um, I think he did and it's like a pokeball and I think yeah it's like a torch let me show you guys what it actually does so I'm going to demonstrate this is the wall and then this is the little pokeball when you press the top and it's like a little torch thing how cool is that so I've just tried to open this one and it turns out that I've put loads, like all of the ones we have won. I put all of the prizes in this one ball to save on space when we were packing and I've just nearly like let everything fall out. I forgot that I got this. <laughs> Look how cute. It's like a little Corsola. Corsola? Corsa? And it's got like a beach ball on its head. How cute. And that's another shiny that I'm really glad to have had. I caught a shiny Corsa, La Corsa, in um, in Krabi in Thailand, just randomly because there was loads about by the beach. She have this in blue, it's, but look how cute. Then we've got the same ones that I already showed you because me and Joe both got the same ones. So that's pretty cool, we both got one of them. The other two in here are just like, like Kuroi, Kuromi and um cinnamon roll next thing that you saw was in there i think joe already had this pack um i won't obviously open it and mess it up but it's just a, a box of cards um and then i think he already had these cards as well so it's just got kyoga on the front um, but i just put it there when i made the shrine because i thought it'll be a good good part of the shrine i'm pretty sure like 99 percent sure joe got this in tokyo so he hasn't opened it yet, but it's all in Japanese. How cool. Um, and his favorite Lucario. 
and there's a new Pokemon, can't pronounce it. So yeah, that was in the shrine as well. Um, that's the back of the card pack. We don't really play like the cards, but we love to collect them. So yeah, um, I got these for Joe from like Sainsbury's. So um, nothing too special. Oh, we've got, oh, we've got a Radiant Steelix. That's pretty cool. Phalanx. Are there any more like shiny cards? Oh, he's pretty cool. Vicar Vault. I was gonna say me and Joe, but mainly Joe went crazy for these stickers and they were really cool. Like I wish I got more. Um, but yeah, these stickers, I can't remember how much they were and everything. And I believe he got a mixture. I think he got maybe one or two in Tokyo, but all of these are pretty much from Osaka or Kyoto. Um, Olcario, shiny Olcario. I think that's right, well, how you say it, is that right? I don't know. And then we've got Moltres, and it was actually really fun because me and Joe just went around Osaka, no, Kyoto, the whole day when it was the raids of Moltres and Zapdos and Ocario. So that was really fun. So yeah, I think, feel like he had to get these legendary birds. So we got a Moltres. Um, he also got a Zapdos, fitting. I mean, you've got to get the birds. Um, he then got a Ditto. I'm pretty sure this is his, but I remember picking that up. Maybe it's mine. I'm not sure. Maybe I should take it. He also got a Pikachu, a Charizard. How cute is that? I love as well how they've all got like the Japanese writing on. Like I feel like that's such like a cool thing. And we've got Magikarp, obviously. Ele Elecabuzz, Electrabuzz, something like that. Um, I'm trying with the names, but yeah, how cool. Yeah, that is it the stickers a few pounds each maybe like three to five so i feel like he got a lot so that was expensive but worth it then when we were paying we both got one of these stickers and this was because when we were in kyoto in the pokemon store the pokemon center um it was pokemon go's seventh anniversary and then the woman when we were checking out was like do you guys play pokemon go and we were like yeah um we were like hoping for someone to say and we both got given these stickers which are really cool because it's got loads of pokemon on the new one diancy you've got rayquaza the new one and yeah gimme ghoul down the bottom by snorlax joe got this snorlax key ring as well which is very cool because it's got the japanese writing on as well and then last but not least for that shelf is a little eevee um i bought a pokemon bath bomb and this came out of the bath bomb so that was very cute and i thought i'd just put it on there so yeah but part of this display on a pokemon center bag so that's pretty cool um just got pikachu on the other side i thought that was a really cute little touch right we're on to the next one we're on to this one the one that i just said had the a uh, bag underneath because I thought that was really cute. My mom is actually so good at presents and I told my mom when it was Joe's birthday the end of July that he loved Pokemon like we loved it and she was asking for present ideas and I said anything Pokemon so she did so well and got Joe just like I'm sure Joe will never play with this but it, it's gonna look so good in in the um shrine in the little showcase thing got oh, joe a little litter i mean how cute um funny enough we got this in cambodia in some random shopping mall um obviously like it's just got a different kind of animated eyes but it's so cute i thought i have to get it there was loads of different ones but i really liked um this one the vaporeon just caught my eyes and i was like it's so cute i have to get it so i ended up getting the vaporeon one and yeah me and Joe said we'd go to the Pokemon Cafe in Osaka and luckily we turned up at like maybe just before dinner time and they closed at like six, half six. We nabbed the last slot they had because you have to like book ahead and then the session, like the cafe session was just starting just as we got there. So we nabbed the last slot and we didn't have to wait around or anything. We just went straight in. Um, let me know guys if you want to see like a little short or like a video with, of my experience there. But it was so good, the Pokemon Cafe, like such cool food and drink inspired by um, Pokemon and stuff. And then after we finished eating and stuff, we got these little cuties this one's joe's joe got this little pikachu with a frying pan and how cute is that it's got like the pokemon ball pokemon stop thing on its 
chef uniform it's just so cute it's holding a spoon and everything and then i got this one i was gonna get the pink one i'm still like oh maybe i wish i got the pink one but so cute got like a little poke ball there and it's chef's hat and then it's holding like a little cake or whatnot with a pikachu on and it's just so Joe ended up getting this pack of, um, I don't know if they're like flannels or like you wash the dishes with them, but like there's a pack of three, so I don't know where the other one is. And obviously he loves Lucario. I don't know when he's gonna use them, but maybe if we move out or whatnot. Um, so yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, we got these in Osaka, I think. So yeah. Okay guys, the next little bits I'm gonna talk about are these things here. I'm not gonna like pick them up and stuff just because they're so hard to put back. I lied because this teapot, I don't know what it's called because I'd never seen it before in my life until I came to Japan. But this teapot had a teacup. I don't know where the teacup's gone. It's very dusty, this shelf. Um, I don't know where the teacup's gone, but we actually got this at one of them balls, you know, from the rotating machines. So that was from that. I probably should have said that before when I was on them because I thought it suited that theme. I need to find the cup. I think it went in this little. Thing, fell in there this is actually from london go fest they didn't have any other team ones so we just got a red one so some of these guys were like a random box a random pokemon so this is a pokeball with gulpin in and i'm very happy i got this one actually because it's quite cute and the flower and the water so yeah very tempted to get the bonza tree one and just hope for a random one but i ended up getting the whole pack of, I think it's six Bonza ones. So that's not included. So yeah, six. So we have got Growleaf with a little like red leafed tree, Pikachu with cherry blossoms. And I've forgotten what he's called now. That's so bad of me. Um, and then we've got this one with cherry blossoms as well, but it's like winter theme because that one's like a ice Pokemon. This one's obviously Chespin with Fletchling. Is that right? Under a apple tree. So it's all very like tree based. Like, and then this one's Squirtle under a flower um, on a rock with some water. And this one's one of my favourites because it's Lugia on like a bon a proper bonza tree like kind of surfing and then i also got this one in a random box this is not part of the bonza collection so that's evie just like hanging out on some plant pots with the letterbox and then the bucket with another pokemon in drew spotted a 151 pack in a card shop and they are quite rare i feel like especially the japanese ones so to see this even though it came with sort of like a book thing that we probably didn't want or need we were like okay we're gonna get this so let me know guys if you want us to unpack the packs of that i'll do a little short or something we also got some free play mats from the pokemon store so that's pretty cool so these you put a, a coin into the machine it impresses the Pokemon onto the coin. So this one we got in Kyoto and it's a Pikachu in the traditional Japanese outfit. And we got Meowth, Pikachu and Rowlet on in Osaka. And we both just got the same ones, so they're all the same. And then Joe also got this one with Pikachus on. Okay, I'm gonna move on to this one. This one that you always see whenever I'm filming and stuff. This hat, me and Joe actually got these hats in Vietnam on a market. <laughs> Joe actually got this Squirtle from a claw machine game. I did record a bit of that, so I'll put that here. Um, and the Japanese are just so helpful. Like he was trying to help us get this. Like he like unlocked the little case and like kept moving the, cause it's different in Japan. Like you have this block of something and you have to get it knocked down to win the prize. So um the guy kept trying to help us and finally joe won the squirtle how cute is he um i think it's such a good prize there were so many pokemon um prizes in like the arcades and stuff like the claw machine games what i bought at london go fest from the little shop we didn't really buy much because i didn't think it was good at all like i kept saying to joe i could have easily got stuff from the pokemon center shipped in or whatnot and put it in for london go fest because the shop there was not that great at all i didn't think so i ended up getting this pichu because i thought she was so cute but i also thought it was very overpriced compared to japan like so yeah i only got one thing joe actually got me this so thank you joe so we have this little cutie this is teddy ursa i actually got this from builder bear in the uk but obviously it's pokemon so 
um she just sits just in there behind squirtle i almost forgot as well i don't currently have these on my airpods because it doesn't fit but i swear to god these were going to fit in the package they looked like the same size but when i got it out i was like no they're way too big so i got these ditto airpod case thing um from osaka so when i upgrade my airpods to the bigger ones the newer ones i can put this on like how cool is that it comes with like a little chain to put there Okay, last but not least, we've, we're gonna do this one. And this one has something very exciting, which you would have seen on the thumbnail, I believe. So my mom actually got these for Joe for his birthday because she's amazing. So how cool is that? It's like a Sylveon card um, set, even though we don't really play the cards, like it's still so cool. Um, Joe got this Tyranitar from Osaka, I think. So yeah, that's pretty cool. There was like a card game, not like one of them twisty things, but you could put money in and it was like a gamble of whether you get cards or not. And then like we ended up getting the, no cards and we got these keychains. So we ended up getting these two. But I think we, we actually got one of them. I think it was this one. We actually got this one because someone left it on the side. So because they didn't want it because they obviously lost um, and not like us because we're not sore losers even though we did feel like it. <laughs> we took it with us, the little keychain, so we ended up getting two so that was good karma for being all right about not getting any cards. Talking of cards, um, me and Joe did go to the card shop. If you've seen other YouTubers vlogs from when they were in Osaka, there is a card shop which sells loads of like cards but mainly Pokemon next to the Pokemon Center in Osaka. So we went there first and i got this how cute is that it still has the price on it cost me 280 yen which i don't know is expensive but it's shiny how cool i can frame that or something so yeah i thought that was really cool joe also got a few of the cards but this is the only one i can find on display that he's put into like a little case so it's like a shiny mewtwo it's very cool and for the big reveal the last thing actually the last part of this video um, and the last um, thing is probably the most exciting. I saved the best or last. So Joe actually spent n not a fair bit of money, but a good amount of money, what people would say on a card, but I think it's worth it. I kind of convinced him to get it. So Joe ended up getting this shiny um, Mew. I don't really know much about the card, so forgive me if I don't really see um all the right stuff about it but it's just so cool like it's got it's got all the japanese writing on it it's shiny it's um rated a nine um so it will stay a nine and look at the back how cool is the back it says pocket monsters card game how cool so so cool i had to put it in the video and it's up there it's up there <laughs> hidden away so it's not gonna get um sun damage because that was one thing he was like cover it if you're gonna put it up there but yeah also on the back it says 1996 nintendo there so yeah that's very very cool i forgot to show you guys these so i got this one in kyoto as soon as we stepped into the pokemon store i was like i need this plushy ditto and i got this one when we we're in osaka it's a quagsire um yeah that is pretty much the whole haul guys i hope you enjoyed uh japan haul and i will see you guys next time um let me know what videos you want to see and whatnot i'm just dying of heat like i need to go take a hot take a cold shower or something <laughs> i hope you enjoyed everything i hope that clears everything up so whenever you see this background next time you sort of know everything you know like whatnot um have a great day guys um subscribe if you're new and like the video and i'll see you next time see ya